call routing determines your customer experience when they call into your business. You can set where you want your calls to go in the call routing menu. We'll start with how you want your calls routed during business hours. Click Change Settings to get started. In the first section, you can set whether or not you want your customers greeted with a welcome message. If you want to type out your message and have our system read it aloud, choose Yes and simply type in what you want the system to say. If you want to record your own greeting or upload an audio file, choose the third option. Click Call Me and enter your phone number and follow the audio prompts to finalize your greeting. Alternatively, click Upload if you have an audio file that you would like to use. Select the file from your computer. Click Open, then Save. Select No if you want your calls to go right into call handling and not be greeted with a message. In the next section, you will decide how you want your calls handled. You can choose from having calls ring your team, go to your team's voicemail, to an automated menu, or redirect it to a specific person or number. First, we'll take a look at the default option, which is to ring your team. Once selected, you can add or remove team members using the drop-down menu. You can also decide on the order of team members and whether or not they will have voicemail access. After you have selected the team members that will be receiving calls, you'll want to select how the calls will ring your team. Ringing your team simultaneously rings everyone on your team at the same time. Sequentially, will ring your team in a specific order and, round robin, will distribute calls evenly by changing the order of people who get the calls first based on when they last answered a call. You can also set how long the system will ring each user, and if you're using sequential or round robin, define how many times to ring each member before forwarding to voicemail or the next person on the list. Under call forwarding, you can decide what happens if everyone is busy or logged out of the app. You can have calls forward to voicemail or another user or external number. From the call handling menu, selecting go to your team's voicemail will send callers directly to voicemail when calling. If you wish to direct or restrict voicemails to a specific person, select who will get the message or simply toggle the voicemail access option off. Selecting an automated menu allows your customers to self-direct their calls using their keypad. Assign each number by using the drop-downs. Select transfer to send the call to another user or phone number and select one of your users or type in an external number. You can also assign a number enabling callers to listen to the menu prompts once more. Repeat these steps for each dial option that you would like to use. If a customer doesn't do anything or presses an invalid key, you can set what happens under call forwarding. Determine how long to wait before taking the next action, how many times the system will repeat the menu, and what happens if the customer still does nothing. You can either choose to hang up or redirect call to a user or external number. Click on the test call flow button to ensure everything is set up properly. The final call handling option is to redirect the call. Use the drop-down to select the user or enter an external phone number that you would like the system to transfer calls to. Click Save when you are done. If you want to set up call routing for non-business hours, switch to the Closed Hours tab. The process will be the same as setting up call routing for business hours.